Hi everyone, Brittany Andresian here, Business Success Coach with Practice Better, and today I'm going to quickly show you a creative way to use forms in your practice. So I'll be sharing with you how you can use a form, the form builder to create a workbook to add to a program. So let's take a look at my forms to see one that I put together for the example of today's video. So just go to forms and waivers here. And then down at the bottom here, we'll see my module one workbook. So let's take a look at this here. All right, so pretty simple. I have named it relevant to the program so that it's nice and straightforward what it is. Um, include any description that you need there. And you can see here as I share my screen that I have included questions that are more geared towards um, the client that are maybe more journal-like or helping them to kind of um, reflect on what they've learned within that first module, as opposed to say, collecting information of symptoms and dietary and lifestyle habits that I would use to inform me for a consultation. So I have geared these questions in a very different way. So all I've done here is use the different form elements to create this. I've used the different text uh, questions and then check boxes. So this is pretty simple, pretty short, but really the goal with it is to help um, reaffirm those concepts that the client is working through within that particular module of the program. So once I have my questions um, all included here, and they'll vary depending on what your program is and what you're offering for the client, it's really just as simple as saving that and then heading to your program module. So let's go to my programs and we'll take a look today at the intuitive eating program that I have here. So we'll go into manage and I want to include this in my first module. So I'm going to go to edit and then up at the top here, you can see my different tabs available for the type of information I can include within the module. I'm going to navigate over to forms and worksheets. And you can see that I've already included this. Um, super simple though, you would just hit this plus sign here. It will bring up a list of all the different forms you've created and you can simply just add that in. So that's now attached to the module and a part of the content that the client will see when they're working through the program. So let's actually take a look at what the client will see as they're working through this. All right, so I'm going to actually scroll down to the bottom here. And you can see under the section of forms and worksheets that I have my module one workbook. So again, this is a really nice way of engaging clients in a different way and helping to reaffirm those concepts that they're learning in the um, program module. So they'll be able to hit this complete button. It will bring up the form where they can then fill it out. Um, as a practitioner, you could choose to review this form to see how clients are progressing with the content you've included in your module or simply allow the clients to use it for themselves as a tool to further their understanding of concepts and not be so hands-on with it. So that is everything for today, nice and short and sweet. Thanks for watching. Um, however you guys choose to get creative with forms, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below.